हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द चैनल फॉर बेसिक क्लासेस बाय डॉक्टर के के साहू इन टीडियो वीडियो विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मेल एंड फीमेल रेड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दीज टू रेड्स एंड हाउ कैन यू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन दिस ओके बिकॉज सम स्टडीज आर कैरिड ओनली इन द मेल रेड एंड सम स्टडीज आर कैरिड ओनली इन द फीमेल रेड सो एज ए फार्माकोलॉजी स्टूडेंट एंड इफ यू आर डूइंग रिसर्च इन सम अदर फील्ड एंड अप्लाइंग द प्री क्लिनिकल स्टडीज so you should know about the sex of the red and how to identify it so that it can be easily applicable in your research according to our project work okay so sometimes separation is needed while sometimes it is not so required so let's start the video to learn about these facts okay so first difference between these two red is their size size matters here to differentiate between the sex see this is the male red and this is female red here the size differs male are comparatively slightly bigger than the female red it is a v star red sprog dolly reds are slightly bigger than it and their body length is shorter than the tail length and this v star strain has tail length shorter than the body length so this is the difference between v star and sprog dolly strain so you should know about these things also here one more important thing that size depends upon the age also you can't judge the sex only on the basis of their size because sometimes young males and adult females are same in the size so it is a primary level of identification but selection on this basis only may create confusion now the next difference between these two sex is their weight adult male reds are always heavier than adult female reds so the average weight of adult male red lies in between 200 to 250 g and female reds are always lighter than the male red about 20 to 30 g so their weight becomes 180 to 230 g so these are the general differences on the basis of their size and weight now in this video i will be showing you the main difference which is the genital organ difference between male red and female red so that you can assure yourself that it is only a male red or female red so i think you all are waiting for it let's go for it and check it by its proper handling method here you can see that i am holding it through its tail it is the ideal method to remove it from the cage so that it will not bite me and mannered properly just after removing it from the cage you should not hold it instantly so that it will be uh, stress free and uh, get familiar with your hand you should give some uh, gentle massage over its back and uh, make them stress free it's our duty also to do so now you can see how i hold it it is a male red actually you can see and how you can identify it the urogenital distance that is the distance between anus and reproductive organ which is about 2 to 3 cm in case of male red and you can see here the testicular appearance also which is prominent in case of male red and seen clearly especially in summer seasons it is more enlarged and easily differentiable now in same manner we will handle and see the female red what's the difference in it actually female reds are more active and aggressive as compared to male reds just like human being oh sorry don't take it otherwise you should keep gentle massaging over its back now i'm holding it okay you can see here how i hold it and put it tail to my little finger now you can see here very clearly that the urogenital distance is very short which is about 1 cm and uh, it is a first difference other difference is that it doesn't have any testicular appearance over here which is more clear and prominent in case of male reds now next difference is its vaginal opening which is prominent and clearly seen in female red here you can see and it is lacking in the male reds one more difference in case of female red is the presence of their mammary gland here you can see the uh, it is more clearly visible while they are lactating okay so it is uh, slightly less visible now we can see it in another female that it is clearly visible okay almost clear now to see it in a clear way we should hold it again 
okay and try to see it in a clear way here you can see the appearance the hairless spot it is a mammary gland actually you can identify it okay so these are the basic difference between male and female rat according to their genital organ their body weight and size we have learned here now i am showing you some other difference according to their choice of study so one difference here is the growth rate between these two sex male shows faster growth rate as compared to female while female shows low gastric ph as compared to male rate so while we are going to study and evaluate growth related drug or growth hormones related study then we should choose the male rate not the female rate another difference is the oyster cycle in the female rat which last for 4 to 5 days actually just like uh, human beings face the menstrual cycle so in female rat it is a oyster cycle and uh, we should not give any hormone related drug or steroidal drug in that period because uh, there is so much fluctuation in their hormones already uh, in the female rat so we not we should not evaluate uh, such drugs in the female rat we should choose male rat in that period but in a general way when we are going to design a sample size of 6 animal per group so we should choose three male rat and three female rat okay and why it is so because uh, when we are uh, completing our preclinical study and going to apply it in a human being so our results should be unbiased it should be equal effect in a both male and ho- female human beings so almost 90% of studies are like that but in case of some special studies such as uh, lactation related study or pregnancy related study teratogenicity ovary cancer breast cancer related study so we should choose in that case female rat only as they have special organs for that simple male rats are not applicable here so these are the study related differences clear now move to some other interesting facts just like male rat which shows faster growth rate so growth related hormones are tested in the male rat only uh, female rat have one more advantage over here in comparison with male rat and uh, it is the barbiturate sensitivity actually female rats are more sensitive to the barbiturates as compared to male rat so uh, we can evaluate barbiturate der- derivatives or barbiturate related drugs in the female rat more efficiently because if there is a little bit difference between two barbiturate drugs in their pharmacological action so female rat can easily respond it as compared to male rat so we can see easily effect in the female rat not in the male rat so these are the basic difference between male and female rats we have learned a lot of things in today's video you can design your research protocol research design according to these uh, facts based on the these facts So this is all about today's video. I think you all have learned something new and interesting facts uh, through this video. Uh, please support my channel and support my effort. Meet you soon on the next video. Till then, thank you. Bye bye and take care.